Welcome to the Dark Psychology World Channel. Today, I'm here to teach you guys the most comprehensive topics to chat with girls. This is a superficial topic suitable for people who have just met within a month. The main purpose of chatting at this time is to ease the girl's defensiveness because she doesn't know what kind of person you are. If you dive directly into deep topics, most girls will ignore you. So, at this stage, we should start from the following topics. First, there must be a self-introduction at the beginning. If you just say hello and introduce yourself, it won't leave an impression on the girls. They might forget you once they turn around and do something else. Here, I'll tell you a formula. It's called status plus life. For example, you could say, hello, I bought a lottery ticket but didn't win. But finally, I recognized you so and so. Or, a hello, I caught the bridal bouquet today. I met you so and so on the way back. Sounds like a good start, right? Second, take the initiative to share your current status, then ask the girl about her status. For example, you could say, I just finished eating, or I just finished doing something, or I just got home, or I just finished the task at hand. What about you? After the girl shares her status, don't rush to respond. Instead, make an evaluation. For instance, if a girl says she's eating, many boys would say, are you having dinner so late? But this approach won't work. You can put yourself in her shoes. If you were a girl, you wouldn't even know what to say next, right? That's because you've already judged her. First, girls are disgusted with people they just met evaluating their lives. Second, once you've evaluated her, the next sentence can only cater to or confront her. There's nothing to continue the topic. Then you'll find that the conversation seems to have died. The correct approach is to pull in whatever direction the girl is talking about. If a girl is talking about eating, then let's talk about food-related topics. For example, if she just finished lunch, don't ask directly what she had for lunch. This won't work because it's a question. If you ask after going out, girls can only tell you yes or no. Two options. End of topic. If you say, I haven't eaten yet, do you have any recommendations? Ask her to recommend dishes to you. It can also extend the topic. Now you can know what she likes to eat. Nice. If there's a topic, don't hold on to it all the time. Don't talk it to death. Learn to practice your divergent thinking. I'll give you a root on a chat topic. For example, your own taste. Let's talk about taste and whether you like spicy food or not. Let's talk about spicy food and Mexican food. Let's talk about ourselves again from Mexico. Colleagues and classmates from four years of university, etc. What about here? I can't tell you everything about college. So far, have a nice chat. Girls are chatting. She will also bring up many topics that interest her. Or maybe she likes the weather today or hates the inconvenience caused by the weather. Her skin feels dry and itchy. Then go on to tell me what skincare products you use. Ask girls again. Let her recommend. There are a few good ones. Topics we just started chatting about. Let me share something with you. The first one is about unexpected encounters. On my way home, I ran into a cat and a dog, saw a couple arguing, or an elderly lady crossing the street. Or maybe something else happened. The second one is about work. We need to kick things off by sharing about our work, which helps to initiate a conversation about it. The third one is about sharing social dynamics. For instance, I'm currently having dinner with friends or hanging out with them. What's so and so up to? The fourth one is about sharing hobbies. Listen to them or let them understand you. That's the goal. Don't pry into their personal life in the early stages or ask life-threatening series of questions. The reason is simple. It means you share your privacy first before getting the girl's privacy. This offsets the insecurity girls feel when their privacy is obtained by someone they just met. Girls appreciate this because they feel respected. When applied to specific chats, the main thing to do when you first meet is to talk about yourself first. Then let's talk about the girl. The second midterm topic is for when we've known each other for two or three months and the conversation has been going pretty well. At this time, the main thing I do is to bring you closer. The key point at this time is emotional synchronization plus self-presentation. I've divided the topics into four categories, childhood experiences, student era, immediate goals, and mutual interests. Focus on self-presentation, but don't show off. Remember to introduce the topic. A childhood experience is very important and necessary to talk about. When it comes to childhood experiences, you definitely can't talk directly. If you ask her directly, how was your childhood? Girls will be confused. The correct way is to start with yourself. For example, did you ever eat way long spicy strips when you were a kid? Or when I was a child, I seemed to have watched a certain cartoon. Or when I was a kid, my dad used to talk about me a lot. At the same time, try to choose topics most likely to produce emotional synchrony. 
For example, when I was young, on the way home from school, interesting things in this memory, or maybe it's something embarrassing that happened in childhood. I secretly applied my mother's lipstick or went to grandma's house, the joy of catching fish and catching shrimps with my cousins. Everything is appropriate. Girls hear this and they will also share their own corresponding experiences. When girls are typing, don't be in a hurry to respond. Give them some silence. Girls will unconsciously talk more. And once a girl starts typing in long paragraphs when narrating her affairs, she finds it very annoying if you frequently interrupt her. At this time, let's not talk about it yet, see what she said. Topic 2. Short-term goals. Note that they are short-term goals, not lofty dreams or ideals. For example, take the IELTS, take the driving license test, have 8-pack abs, how many pounds should I lose? Wait, wait, wait. These are all considered short-term goals. You said the advantage of short-term goals is that it's convenient to observe the recent status of girls. Having goals means you will be busier in the near future. Girls think you are ambitious. The second thing is that this can generate new topics. You can ask her if she has any goals recently. Why set this goal? Well, normally you can follow the progress of her goals, which strengthens your involvement in her life. If she achieves her goals, you can provide her with some substantial help or encouragement. Topic 3. Both parties share their hobbies and chat about them. Guys, don't be afraid if a girl's hobbies are different from yours. That doesn't matter. As long as your ideas don't conflict, it's okay. For instance, one person might love fitness while another is a total homebody who hates going out. These two people will have a significant conflict of ideas. When it comes to hobbies, first, you need to understand how the other person enjoys themselves. Second, use the topic of hobbies to show your own living condition. It's best to choose a hobby that's relatively niche. Don't talk too much about your hobbies, though. She might not be very interested in your hobbies. Just show your life status. If you don't have hobbies, it's recommended to develop some. For the guys out there who love fitness, don't just throw that muscle in the girl's face. Remember, many girls subconsciously feel that this guy is very showy. The third and final level of chatting is the late stage. All the topics we talked about when we first met were commonplace. This is the highlight. After discussing the above two periods, we can improve our relationship, meaning they become boyfriend and girlfriend. This section is like walking a tightrope across a bridge. The difficulty is quite high. It's very unstable and complex. It's divided into four key points. The first way to raise, criteria for judging the girl's thoughts, ways to deal with good or bad feedback, and how to stabilize relationships. Do you really want me to say it? It will take at least one morning. What about the post-production video? I will share it with you slowly. If you want to learn how to chat with girls, want to learn how to attract girls, let her chase you, or you're in love and chasing a girl, or need help with emotional issues related to dating recovery, then pay more attention to my video sharing. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. You can also share these fascinating insights with your family and friends. Hit the subscribe bell and you'll be notified when new videos are posted. This is the Dark Psychology World Channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.